Hello, everybody. Good morning. I think I just poured coffee all over my desk, but luckily I have this quite absorbent mat right there. I think I think it just uh, got absorbed. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> Good morning. Hope everyone's doing great today. On this hump day, thought about having a less generic title, but then I was like, whatever, you know, it's hump day. I got to have a little breakfast today too, Lester Crochet. Let's do a little roll call. I was just answering some emails. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. All right, Cindy Plumley, Sahuaro Christmas, Vixen. Maybe I can disturb my neighbors left less if I do it like this. Kristen Melinda, Cindy Plumley, Mischief Managed, good to see you. Sandy Wandy, Ben Bacon Bits, Stace Speria, Miss Sunrise Dawn, love to see you guys. Rona Cooley, the newest nut. Less to crochet, Rexican Messler. Heck yeah. Good morning, everyone. SB. Daniel McCoy. Heather Rhodes. Heck yeah, it's good to see you guys. Stacy Sullivan. Scooby. Twin Mom. Doc. All right. Carla, good to see everybody. Usually we just kind of fart around a little bit in the morning, but um, I was just answering this email and it was very thought provoking and it had me thinking, I'm going to try to answer it the best that I could, but I think I'm going to talk about some of the concepts. I'm not going to like talk about any personal information from the email, but I would like to go over some of the stuff I was responding with because I think it's very beneficial for everyone. This person asks me for help and says, um, they've made a new friend and that their friend's not doing well. And then lists a bunch of things that have happened to their friend recently, which are, you know, definitely not things that I would desire to happen to me. Right. Um, and all this happened in the last year. So a lot, a lot of bad things have happened to this individual in the last year. They go on to say that they try to support them as much as possible. And, um, this person, um, has expressed that they felt better and safer um, in prison. And this, the person writing the email doesn't necessarily think that that's um, the right answer. And, you know, I'd have to agree, but let me try to explain something two, twofold here. Um, if one, if the, the individual in question wants to go to prison, nothing is going to stop him. Not you, not anybody. You know what I mean? So definitely don't put yourself in harm's way. And that's where my mind goes. Maybe that's not, maybe he's, you know, the quality of his character is his more than that, right? But I would never get in between a convict and, and like what they have expressed that they want to me. You know what I mean? Unless I wanted to have an altercation. Also, you know, if this, if your friend is having their home raided by police and getting in bar fights, it's not the kind of company that I want to keep. Um, they say that um, you take on the qualities of your 10 closest friends. And I try to keep people close to me that um, have things that I want. And I don't mean like that nice, shiny new car, right? I mean like, like qualities of their character that I would like to achieve um, have hit they are, I don't know, I try to keep people around me. I like to be the, the, the lowest on the totem pole in my friend group, if that makes sense. Um, if I'm the highest person on the totem pole, I'm not making any progress. I need a new friend group. Um, and I'm not saying you're going to start getting your house raided and that, you know, you're going to get in bar fights because you're hanging out with this guy. But how is that serving your recovery? And you might say... Spanx, Captain, you told us to do service. I'm being of service. Well, I mean, you could have picked, I don't think you could have picked a more dangerous way to do service if you had tried. Um, there's a billion ways. If that's, if that is why you're, why you're doing this, I would, I would counsel that there's a million 
better ways to do service. But, you know, and also I'm not telling you what to do. I just uh, thought I'd share my thoughts. Um, you know, maybe this guy's awesome. And, uh, but when someone tells me they want to go back to prison, that's like a red flag, you know? Like, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means, like, I have no business hanging out with you. I don't want to go back to prison. You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, you know, he's not less of a person because he's getting in bar fights and his house is getting raided. But I, uh, I don't think that, like, I don't think that you're going to be able to help him, you know? And I, and the real, the real point of what I'm saying is I think that the attempt in trying to help him might end up hurting you. That is my word. And that's enough of that. I like to keep it light in the morning. That was pretty heavy on, but you know, you read stuff like that. You can't ignore it. That's the whole purpose of why we're here is to talk about these kinds of things, things that are hard to talk about, things that are important, these things that aren't, uh, you know, as fleshed out. Um, so thanks for listening. Yeah, if I'm the big fish in the little pond, I'm not I'm not going anywhere, you know? I'm stuck. Brianna Miller. My stomach is yelling at me. I just had some cereal and milk. Cause my stomach was yelling at me, and now it's like singing a di quite a different song. Got some burbles on the back. I do not know how totem poles work. I hope I wasn't um, speaking out of turn. I just, uh, that was the first metaphor that came to mind. And totem poles are pretty cool, I'd have to say. I'd carve one, but I don't think I'm allowed. Well, Krista Melinda, when you only have a couple friends, it's probably because you are picking them wisely and you don't realize it. Um, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. You know, and I, I will have to say, it's not to be discounted how many friends you have surrounding you right now here in the chat. Um, we've made some connections here. So well, I was speaking in the IRL, but that is not to discount from what we've created here. It's harder to pick up traits digitally, though, I think, for sure. <laughs> Not impossible. I am feeling much better, Ben. Yeah, but dude, my eyes were burning. I, when I hung up yesterday on the morning live, I like closed my eyes for maybe 30 minutes and just kind of thought about my plan. And I was like, I'm just going to go to Walgreens. I'm going to go down there. I have to, I have business to attend to. I need to be looking at the screen, right? So I ran down there, 12 bucks, dude, boom, bing, bang, boom. I got home, put them on, tested it, and like immediately felt relief. Um, I did take some time to rest my eyes before getting back to work. So don't do not be concerned. Mischief asks if I went to the ER. I did not. And I also haven't passed anything. So that's one alarming and two, uh, you know, so maybe I will go. I don't know. We'll see. I, pro I could do better at explaining things sometimes. When you open with, I might go to the ER. It's good. Not, I don't think that was a very smart move for me to do yesterday. Because <laughs> uh, look, I still haven't gone. Tell stories. Lacey Silver, Silver says totem poles tell stories. Izzy E says, thanks for the reminder on healthy boundaries and respecting our energy and capacity. Yes. Yes. Could not have worded that better myself. Bless to Crochet says, we cannot help those people as much as we love them. They don't want to help themselves, and that can be so hard when you care. I agree. I don't think that I'm lactose intolerant, but a wise soul, good friend of mine, once told me, Mike, milk is for babies. And that stuck with me, so maybe, maybe I should put the milk down. I really enjoy it, though. Yeah, Deadri, out of context. So yesterday before my evening live, I had some stomach discomfort. And without going all the way back into the story, um, 
I knew what that meant. And that probably meant I was going to have to walk across the street to the hospital at some point and in the middle of the stream, which was why I was telling everybody about it. It did not happen. So everyone got a bunch of information. Um, and then, and then I didn't have any b bad things happen. So that's what you walked in on. Good morning. Yes, ma'am, I will. Lester Crochet says, Spanx, take care of yourself. You can't feel so many else's cup if you don't fill your own. That's the mama talking to me, you know, and that is very important. Um, I am making sure to ask for help when I need it and taking breaks and resting and doing recreational activities. And, you know, I'm making sure that, that I'm not consumed with the boat, I promise. That being said, today at 11, I'm going to be on Conversations with Christy, 11 a.m. Pacific, um, about four hours from now, a little less than that. Pretty excited. Come catch us over there. Um, and then I would like to start doing some trial runs with the Ripples today, but um, it's a communication thing. Email isn't the best communicator, but that's what we're using right now. So. Um, if you're one of the ripples, check your emails. And maybe I didn't, maybe I've received one from you, but I, yeah, check, check your emails. Hey, Spanks, I was diagnosed with diverticulitis in February. I know the feeling. I ended up going to the ER after four days with a hot water bottle. Get lactose-free milk for your cereal. Tastes the same. Well, thank you, Karen. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry to hear about your diagnoses. Yeah, I might need to just fold, you know? Do some, do some forward folds. Kind of push it out. Love it asks, what, what's ripples? Ripples are... Um, we used to talk about the dream and the goals of the boat and creating ripples and um, which are basically um, other channels like, like this one with their own unique missions, but with a similar, you know, vibe with a, with a similar uh, uh, headspace, I guess we've aff affectionately taken to calling them the ripples or I have at least. I think we have another name and a logo and everything coming out for it, but channels like Bless to Crochet, um, Conversations with Christy. I know I'm going to forget some now. I, I need to get a list in front of me so I can do everybody justice because everybody deserves to be mentioned just as much as the next. Um, where's my, where are my notes? But yeah, we've got a bunch of ripples that are lifeboaters that have started their own channels or had channels before they found the lifeboat. And uh, we agree on, we see eye to eye on some things. So we affect, I re affectionately refer to them as the ripples. And we're going to be uh, um, featuring them on the lifeboat. Um, I, I figured that, you know, everybody can benefit, especially if your channel is smaller than ours, right? You can use our platform, plug yours all day, simulcast to your own channel as well. And then we get closer and closer to having a lifeboat meeting all the time, which is the ultimate goal is no matter what time it is or where you are in the world, you can get onto the lifeboat and there's a meeting happening. You know, there's someone, there's some people here doing the do, fighting the good fight and talking about recovery or what have you, right? I'm not saying the ripples all talk about recovery, but they all have the same, the same vibe. I, I could sit in any one of their chats and uh, feel at home and safe, you know, around friends. So it serves the same purpose. That's the idea behind the ripples. Love it. I hope that was an adequate answer. Sometimes I get lost in my answers and I just think, um, I think I get that honestly from my dad and come by that honestly. He can riff, I'll tell you what. The ripples do sound like a 70s band to Izzy, I have to say. Zenwen, thank you for plugging that.
Well, any midweek, uh, I don't know what to call that. Any, uh, yeah, the milk of magnesia clean you out. Um, maybe are you, I might need actual magnesium as like a vitamin. I haven't been taking my vitamins, so it might be time to do a full evaluation of, um, of my diet and in my health practices. I definitely um, have let some some quality of life practices of mine fall by the wayside. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. I thought my dad would be less busy with this transition. That is not the case. I guess uh, he was just making room to do other things. Um, I will also post, um, it was just plugged in the, in the chat. I'll, I'll try and make a post about it on the YouTube, I guess. Yeah, we're all ripples, Lisa Trimble. Uh, conversations with Christy. It, yeah, it is pretty effective, isn't it, Brianna Miller? Do glasses help immensely? Jill Anderson asks if the glasses help with the eye strain. Looks like magnesium's going to have to be something I'm going to get. My pleasure, Becca Jean. Um, and, you know, here's to many more days sailing at the blue oceans. True devotion on the bluest ocean, cruising. Well, lots of thoughts. I have lots of thoughts swirling in my head, guys. I tell you what, um, we have so far, that's not what I wanted. Notes list. So far, I've been speaking to three different channels, maybe four. A couple people have reached out and said that they have friends with channels. Um, so then I inquire, you know, who's your friend? Let me check their channel out, blah, 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 you know. But we should get some, we should be getting some time slots of ripples here very soon, as soon as possible, but you know, also, Implementing these things properly, I think, is just as important as implementing them. Relate a boat. Look at this. Look at this. I really do like that photo. I feel like the hand in the hand is just like a universal symbol of connection. Maybe I need some different hands. Have fun ear, Alanon. Deodri. Cheers. How much time a day do I spend journaling? Uh, it varies, but I spend about 10, 15 minutes in the morning and 10, 15 minutes before I go to bed just to get the old, the old thinker working, you know, properly try to organize my thoughts before and after bed, uh, helps the, the computer work. What about you? How much time do you spend a day journaling, Layla? I was when you when I read that, I started questioning if I was like even journaling enough. I was like, is fifteen minutes enough? I think that's plenty. You know, I do have lots of hobbies. Fancy Nancy, I had so many hobbies at one point. I had to start cutting some out because I was average at a bunch of stuff and good at nothing. Ready to go? Boom. Isn't it, uh, isn't it crazy cooking with grandma? Cooking with grandma says, Spanx, I just wanted to say that it truly amazes me that it's in helping others we really help ourselves. And that's the essence of being of service right there. I tell you what. Yes, I do have a bunch of hobbies. I um, play guitar. I used to skate. I guess we'll just talk about current hobbies, huh? I like music a lot. Um... Oh, and the fire sticks. I like to, to fire dance. I guess right now I don't have any hobbies. Right now my hobbies are the lifeboat. 
Lisa Trimble says, I'm very grateful for you. Spanx, the crew too. Well, thank you. The boat wouldn't be quite the same without you, Lisa. There you go. Okay. Okay. I might have to step up my game a little bit there, Layla. <laughs> And that's, that's wonderful. Matrix Rabbit says, I do it all day, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Whenever I get anxious, stress reliever for me. And that's amazing. What a great tool, right? What a great tool. I actually have, oop, I almost broke a glass. I have my notebook right there, actually. So it's always at hand if I need it. But lately, I've been on the computer so much. Um, some of my notes I'll take in a program instead, which is whatever. Whenever I get this journal finished, um, there will be an option to use it digitally. So kind of the same thing. Just had a lady from a local cult knock on my door to recruit. Ma'am, it's tax season. My soul is already crushed by the man. We good. That's funny. What, uh, what cult were they a part of, Izzy? We do not. I am waiting on a uh, word back from some people that may want to help me. Um, the program that I was using to edit my PDFs is a piece of crap, so I got rid of it. And in doing so, um, I have also removed my ability, that's right, to edit PDFs. So I'm reaching out to someone that has a program that doesn't suck. All I have to do is add a page index. If you or someone you know can add a page index to my journal, send me an email. I bet you I get a bunch of emails that don't help me, but it's worth trying because uh, you know if one if I get ten emails and one of them has a solution, then we have a solution. So um, yeah, if you if you can add a page index to PDFs with three hundred and sixty nine pages, whatever however many pages it was, let me know. If not, we're waiting on uh, we're waiting on some people that are far busier than I to get back to me with uh, with that program. Geocacher. Now remind me what that is. Is that someone that goes on uh, uh, scavenger hunts in the real world? Is that what that is? Like an urban scavenger hunter? an interesting question. Deeming says, keeping things light, my son saw me flirt with someone once and literally spit out his drink. How do you handle your dad and Reese when it gets racy? Well, I'm no stranger to my dad getting racy, I have to say. Um, so I remember when I was a kid, I would cringe. And then one time my dad saw me cringe and he likes, I don't know. Yeah, he put, he put that to rest pretty quickly. He did something even cringier. And he was like, yeah, you like that? Basically is how that went. So I try not to cringe at all because then you know what happens. You know, I try to just act like it just goes right. It doesn't even phase me, you know? And I think it's working. I think it's working. Best live concert I've seen, the bombs asks. Hmm. Been to quite a few concerts. One of them, one of the concerts I went to recently had a 360 drum machine where the drummer was like strapped in and his whole chair and the whole drum kit was like rotating. So he was like upside down doing like, it was pretty cool. That was a pretty sweet show. Um, that was Parkway Drive. I don't think that was the best I've ever seen, but that was pretty sweet. Um, Man, I feel like 
This shouldn't be so hard to answer. I feel like I don't want to answer wrong. Mastodon was really good. Mastodon was really, really good. Uh, I feel like every electronic show I ever went to was kind of disappointing and boring. The DJ's going like this. He's not DJing like newsflash. You know what I mean? He created all of that in his basement. He's just hitting play and dancing with you. You know what I mean? I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think that people don't understand the difference between producing and uh, like production and disc jockeying. Oh, that's right. My best live concert. I, it must have been Mastodon. That's what's coming to mind. Mastodon with Gojira or Mastodon with Coheed and Cambria. Either or. Very good shows. Jane S. says, I'm late, so forgive me. You're forgiven. How am I feeling today? You mentioned the intestinal and stomach issues last night. Did you end up walking over to the hospital? I did not. And I did not end up walking over to the bathroom either. So we'll see how it goes. The only reason I brought that up is because I didn't want to leave without explanation if I had to. Um, so I wanted to like preempt it yesterday. Um, I may still end up going over there. I may end up passing it without trouble. I feel like I want to sign up for that free health care, but I also like don't want to waste my time, right? That's the essence. I don't know. I don't, I don't like going to the hospital. If I can pass it, I'll probably pass it. I've got enough going on. I don't need to start going to the doctor all the time and start. I don't need to start that right now. So yeah, I will probably not go unless I absolutely need to. That's how my thought process works right there. That's, that is the essence of the inside of Captain's brain. Yeah, Coheed and Cambria is so great. Plant Freak, did you know that they have like comic books to go with their albums? And that al like the lyrics that the songs are about the world that the comic book's depicting. Does that make sense? So they have like, yeah, they have books to go with their albums. Did you know that? Coolest freaking idea, I think. It's the coolest thing. And there it's about like space bounty hunters and like this crazy galactic war and espionage and stuff. It's so cool, dude. <laughs> that band is out of control, man. The uh, what's that guy's name? Uh the lead singer's hair is crazy. Forget his name. He's got a great name too. Claudio or something like that. Coheed. Cambria. Yeah, is it Claudio? I feel like it is. Yeah, Claudio Sanchez. That dude's bad mofo for sure. I haven't read the uh, the comic books, so they're awesome, huh? I mean, they would have to be, I feel like. Metal band from Sweden. Okay. Okay. Lol. Yeah, you know. I'll be sitting in the waiting room thinking about all the stuff I could be doing. You know? All the actions I could be taking. With their blood on it. This must have been before AIDS. Tara Smiling says that she had a similar experience a few months ago. They prescribed magnesium citrate, the liquid kind in saline. Just took a third of a bottle. Worked really well. You know, maybe I'll be walking over to Walgreens. I don't know. I don't feel discomfort now. It's so, it's so confusing. I felt a, a mild um, amount of discomfort as I was like preparing to go live. Not like, not like yesterday. It was more of like an empty feeling. It was like, dude, you need to feed me. And I was like, dude, I just put cereal in you. Um, it was more like that, but uh, like it could, 
just be really, really painful here in a little bit. Right now I feel nothing. Right now it feels great. So it's really hard to nail down. It's like, what's real? You know, is this actually me being stopped up? Or is it just some hot stuff that I ate? Like, I wish I could just uh, press a button on the machine and it would tell me what's wrong with me, you know? I'm 32 of a bombs. 32? The ink had their blood in it. Back to that Kiss magazine, Kiss comic book. That's pretty cool. I bet you, I bet you those uh, uh, comics are rare and expensive. I would love to have one though. I tell you what, that would be pretty friggin' cool. Pretty friggin' cool. All right, well, maybe we can talk about uh, some plans I have today. Other than the conversations with Christy and the Ripples work that I'm doing, um, I would like to, and it's gone. Mm. Well, darn it. I was going to tell you guys my plans, but I forgot what they were, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll just get some exercise in and just do a regular day, right? Probably need to do that before conversations with Christy if I want to get my nap in. I've tried to split my day in two, into two days, where I'll sleep for four hours and be awake for, I think it's seven, I forgot the math, and then sleep for four hours and then be awake for seven. 22. I'm missing some hours. It's eight, eight, and four, and four. Pardon me. Yeah, be awake for eight, sleep for four. And I, the thinking behind that is because the lifeboat is on the sevens, right? It's 12 hours apart. So I'm either going to be constantly like doing a little bit of sleep maintenance, or maybe I can split my day into two. That was the original thinking. I don't know if my body will take four hours into an eight hours of wakefulness, into a four hours of sleep, into an eight hours of wakefulness. But... So far, it seems okay. I have only done it one day. Um, we'll see, if I can do it three days consistently, I should be able to tell how my body feels about it. So wish me luck. I hope it works. Seven uh, Pacific. Seven Pacific. So I guess that's 10 Eastern, I believe. I'm not the time zone master. I do know that it's seven Pacific. 7.40 Pacific right now. I love coffee. Shout out to Sweet Tea. This coffee is amazing. Um, yeah, slept really good last night. Um, had some strange dreams. I've been considering keeping a dream journal again to see how far we can get with that. Once upon a time, I was keeping a dream journal. It was one of the times I was on probation. I remember because when I when I stop smoking, um, my dreams become vivid. And this was one of those times. And I was like, I'm going to keep a dream journal and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, the rabbit hole eventually led me to um, the dreaded family Christmas dream. I think I made it three or four days keeping the journal. And then the family Christmas dream was just too much. It was too much. So I stopped, uh, stopped keeping the dream journal and I didn't sleep right for like another two weeks. That was pretty wild, but I have been considering trying again, you know, maybe I've processed through some of the stuff that held me back then. Depression naps. I wonder what makes it a depression nap. I wonder if that's what I take. I don't think so. I don't feel very depressed. But sometimes I do, I guess. No, 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 no. Christian Melinda says, is that a common one to have? The family Christmas dream? No, it's a specific dream that I had that was like scarred me and stopped me from keeping a dream journal. 
it, it like to put in in a nutshell and not like get into the crazy wacky mind blowing details. Um, like my whole family was disappointed in me. My little sister was like, "Why?" And uh, all my friends were pieces of crap, and I was slain by vampire hunters, chased through the streets and slain with a stake throwing crossbow vampire hunters in all-terrain vehicles yeah it certainly seemed like a salvia hallucination chris and i have to say it's very funny that you say that because this dream was out of control it started at family christmas which i arrived to in the sr22 stealth jet Grandpa was out there with the orange things like right here, land it right here, around, you know. <laughs> that was how the dream started. And then it was just a bunch of disappointing interactions where I was a disappointment to my family. And then there's so much more. There was like trap doors and all these places in my grandma's house that I kept like going into other dimensions. It was the craziest dream. And then they killed me. The vampire hunters, they came for me. With the stake throwing crossbow. I have a knock on my door. You don't want to. Oh, come on. Give me a hug, man. You, you, you got this stuff for these two dollars. Everything you need is in there. Everything you need is in there. Love it. You guys are the best. Thanks. That's funny. You guys couldn't see because the light of God came in, but. Yeah, I'll give you one guess who that was. I'll give you one guess who that was, dude. Wow, I need to clean my hair up for the hats this cool. No, I don't think the hair is a good look with the hat. I don't think so at all. Not bad, I have to say. Not bad. As you were, crew. As you were. Gentlemen and gentle ladies. I'm pretty stoked. There's a bunch of other goodies in there. Wow, this is a heavy trophy. Wow. Shout out to Molesky and his family. Where does this want to live? I'm gonna have to do some reorganizing today. There are things that are gonna belong on this desk, and there are things that are gonna not belong on this desk, you know? That was Tommy and Johnny, Miss Sunrise Dawn. They both were kind of concerned with standing in the doorway because we were all three of us were thinking that they were gonna be on camera, but we all forgot about the light of God that comes in when I open the door. Um, that was pretty fun. Yeah, I love my dad, my uncle. Can't wait to have a car so I can just drive over there and bug the crap out of them. Holy, can't wait. Kristen Melinda, thank you very much. That thing's way heavy. That's crazy. I had, I tried to get him. I was like, you guys want to come in here? You know, I don't know if you guys could hear our conversation, but I was trying, I was teasing him, trying to get him to come in. It's like, come on, come inside.
Yeah, facial. It's official. Yeah, that's totally what I do. All of uh, all Uncle Johnny's Pop Tarts and all, all his fun snacks. All my dad's Coke, Coca Cola. Although I try not to drink soda. When I when I go to my dad's, I just I start drinking his soda. I should probably work on that. And in that ripple, let's surf. Hey, Debbie P. I just saw this. They definitely did that midstream on purpose, Jeremy. Definitely on purpose. They were both wearing poop eating grins. They were grinning ear to ear. That was the Admiral. And his older brother, too. How do they say it in Scooby Doo? Those meddling kids and their darn dog. Yeah, that was Admiral Tommy Scoville and his darn brother. I love Pop Tarts, but I tell you what, poster strudels are dangerous. I haven't had one in a long time, but I remember I used to buy a box of toaster strudels on Monday and uh, wish that I had toaster strudels on Tuesday. You know, I feel like I can't have a box of toaster strudel in my freezer because I will just, I will just annihilate it. I'll just inhale. I'll just turn into a vacuum and all of it. Official captain's hat. Thank you, Dennis from Boston. I like your chapeau and your uh, and your photo as well. Thank you, Aria. Yeah, everybody pick on them next time you see them for not saying hi. Out of context. Probably shouldn't do stuff like that. I thought it was funny. I'm going to hug some laundry today too, Blake. I tell you what, I'm lucky I found this shirt. This is a pretty sweet shirt I found in the bottom of my dresser that was clean. But all my other polos are not. Um, I don't know. I think so. That must be what's happening because he was wearing his traveling hat. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, no. I got to text him real quick. Have a safe trip, Uncle Johnny. Love you, dude. I'm probably going to shave today, too. I'm sick of looking at all this facial hair. I hope there is magnesium in that bag. Just going to handle that, you know, immediately. That would be hilarious if there was magnesium in the bag. Can't think of a better name. 2 p.m. Eastern says conversations with Christy. 11 a.m. Pacific. And I wouldn't forget it for the world. Thank you for the reminder. And when I say I wouldn't forget, sometimes I still need reminders. So not, not to discourage you. For, if you feel called to remind me, it's probably because I need one. So I appreciate every single one of you. Bachelor laundry. That's right, Rick. Um, I don't do the smell test um, as much anymore. Lol. <laughs> because I have, uh, I have specific hampers for specific uh, clothes. Clothes that are like unsavable and clothes that are good in a pinch. You know what I mean? Which is stupid. A, I have so many clothes. I could throw half of them away and still clothe myself for like probably a month um, on one, one load of laundry. So I don't really need to be doing the smell test, but sometimes it's fun to just, you know, see what you're working with.
Then the sneaky part's on the outside. Brianna Miller says, just turn them inside out. WP at 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be getting interviewed on Conversations with Christie's channel. So come over to Conversations with Christy at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Wait, is it 2 p.m.? I thought we changed that. It's 11 a.m. Pacific. It must be 2 p.m. Eastern. I thought we had changed that though. This is what happens. I'm gonna have to actually keep like a uh, like a, a schedule planner book because numbers always blend together and sound the same, right? So if I'm gonna be scheduling a bunch of stuff, there's no way I'm gonna keep that schedule in my head. Zero chance of that. Zero chance of that. You heard it here first. Hello, hello. Hmm, man, it's going to be a good day. I can't wait. I was just thinking about Uncle Johnny and my dad going to the uh, airport. That's probably where they're going. Yeah, I guess Uncle Johnny is going to some lake somewhere to write, which is pretty cool, I have to say. Kristen, you're out in womanly secrets. I won't tell anyone. Not only do I like the coffee, sweet tea, I love the coffee. Coffee is one of my love languages. I salute you. Thank you. Spill the tea. What am I spilling the tea? Did I forget what I was talking about again? Um, I would probably go to, I want to go to Canada and Mexico because they're so close and so easy, but I've never been, but I think Japan is pretty high up on the list. I want to snowboard in like a cherry blossom grove, which might be unrealistic, but I feel like I can make it real. Um, but also Eastern Europe, I'm pretty, um, intrigued by fascinated with old uh, Russian stories and, and histories um, and I'm also fascinated with like Eastern Eastern European stuff in general it really floats my boat Tommy and Johnny maybe I missed something dirty mouse hold on Yeah, I hear that. I could have definitely gone to the lake. That would have been sweet. I think I got some more in the tank before I need a vacation, though. Latvia was stunning, says Plant Freak. It's on the list. I, I swear. I've never left the U.S. There's so many places that I want to go. So many things I want to do. Japan's got a high-speed train, huh? I'm gonna have to go check that out, too. Spring snowboarding in the cherry blossoms is realistic. And now that's what I need to hear right there. Right there. I've seen videos of it. I feel like it's it's not just in my dreams, you know? <laughs> oh, maybe I'll play some guitar today. After going to that metal show the other night, I uh, really, really have been feeling like playing, but I haven't played. I do not have a list of all the creators in the greater connection community. Um, I have like the friends of the boat list and some of the ripples are on there, but um, I have not created this, this list. Um, if anyone. If anyone feels, feels called to do that, you're welcome to, but um, I think moving forward, 
Uh, we will find out who these people are because they're going to be doing slots on the boat. There's something in my throat. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to wash this hair to put this hat on, I think. It'll look better when it's fresh. Man, there's something going on. Maybe I should go. Um, you know, lately I've been doing some video games for R and R, but I don't think that that's the. I think that's like a counterproductive task. You know, it's not really serving anything other than like dopamine, right? So, I was thinking today maybe I'll exercise and play some guitar instead to fill that. You know. You guys want to see my guitar? I like that fedora too. Um, it's hard to wear with the headphones and I need the headphones when I have someone on with me. So the next time, probably tomorrow morning. Uh, well, no, this evening I'll be alone too. Maybe I'll wear it tonight. That was, I won that at a silent auction at like a concert. I was at this concert. It was right after the Roe v. Wade thing was repealed. So we were out there moshing for women's rights. Um, the right to choose. Pardon me if that's polarizing, but we were out there moshing for for the abortion laws. And, uh, and they had a silent auction and that guitar was there. And I put every dollar in my pocket on, on that guitar and I won. Before I did so, I called my dad. I was like, hey, dad, I'm about to put every dollar in my pocket on a guitar. Uh, can you help me out if I need it next week? And he was like, dude, go. And I was like, hell yeah. So I got that for like 190 bucks. And it's like a $700 rig, which is pretty cool. I mean, I, it may not be that much. I, I might just be regurgitating false information, but um, it's a sweet guitar. It's got seven strings. I tried a seven string once before and I ended up, it was one of the guitars that I sold. Every guitar I've ever sold, I regret selling. But anyways, I didn't think I was going to dig the seven, but I, I do like this one. This one is much better, I think. Or maybe my brain understands it better. That's probably the real difference is I'm more effective on it because it makes sense. I can see the scales and the modes and what not in my head. Favorite coffee. I feel like I have an answer for this. But now it's not coming to me. Um, if we're talking like a like certain brand or something like that, I don't I can't think of my favorite right now. But uh, wait, Raven's Brew. What was that one I used to get? The Three Peckered Billy Goat. Is that what it's called? I used to get this stuff at the natural grocers in in uh, Salt Lake, and the brand was Raven's Brew, and they have one called. The three peckered billy goat. It's an orange bag. The dark roast, I guess. That one was probably my favorite. Everything from that company was delicious, though. Everything I had. They had one that had uh, 
called the wicked wolf it's got here i can i don't know why i'm reading this to you i can show you check this out i'm glad you asked because i had forgotten that this coffee existed check it out this is the the one i was talking about i used to buy this in salt lake and it was so good but uh this one is like a dessert coffee this one kind of tastes like chocolate a bunch but uh yeah if I had to say, I'd say those are probably my, that's my, probably my favorite brand, but I really had to, I had to reach for that. So, I mean, any coffee is, is, is fantastic. Oh, the roast. It's a good question. I do like light roasts for their caffeine content. And I do like, like dark and medium roasts for their flavor and benefits. So, you know, I have to say I'm on the fence. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I actually, when so sweet tea sent me um, a, a, light, a, a light roast, a medium, and a dark, I believe. I believe there was one of each. It's like a combo pack. Um, and I opened with the light roast. That was my go-to, right? Because I just, you know, I, I, in my head, that's what I was going to do. And then I went to the dark, went to the other side of the spectrum. And now we're ending on um, the medium roast. And uh, I don't know. I enjoyed each one of them so much. It's hard for me to pick. Yeah, it's hard for me to pick. Probably not. Probably not the, the, the light, though. I feel like I get so much caffeine in my body. I probably don't need a little extra in my coffee, you know? That's probably real. Yeah, we all need to go visit Izzy. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. I kept my first guitar and my two violins through everything. Could have sold them to eat when I was starving, but they're in my studio today. I'm not proud of much, but this is one of them. You know, Izzy, when I was starving, I sold my first guitar. And I regret it every time it comes up. So, um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I envy you for sure on that. Obviously, starving's no fun, but the fact that you still have those, I think that's really cool. And I'm jealous. I just like invited everybody. That's uh, it, it was a joke, and yeah, I think it was a bad joke. Now I feel like I've wronged my friend. I'm sure she can handle herself. She'll say no. All right, I'm getting lost in the sauce here. Maybe it's time for me to call it, friends, family. Um, hit that like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Zen Wen may be the only mod in here today, but never forget, um, I'm also technically a mod, I guess. So it's me and you, Zen Wen. We've got this. Luckily, we don't really run into a whole lot of uh, trouble anymore. You know what's funny? I facilitated that call-in show for the related boat the other day. I haven't had like one troll the whole time I've been on here, you know, knock on wood or whatever, like I'm blessed. Right. Um, I hadn't been doing any production for my dad for a few days. I did that related boat. The first, th like the first 30 seconds, there was people, uh, rolling the people, uh, that have a vendetta against my dad, I guess, because that's the only common denominator there is they're after him, not me. That's so interesting to me. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know, don't jinx it, Mira dear. That's right. No, we're doing all right. I mean, I don't know. At the end of the day, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And we're going to, you know, we're going to take it as it comes and um, have confidence that we're going to get through it, you know. Yeah, all y'all have a great day as well. Brazy Girl, I have been thinking about the plants that I'm going to buy. Um, and I can't wait to share them with you. I think we've got another four days before uh, before the check comes. So I'm hoping that... Uh, what, what, what would that be on? Let's check. I'm thinking Monday. Monday, we might have some greenery in here. And, you know, while I'm down there, I might as well get some tax and put up my art and stuff, too. So maybe it'll look a lot different in here on Monday. What do you guys think? 
All right, all right, all right. I love hanging out with you. It's hard to say goodbye. Goodbyes suck, you know? But it's not goodbye. It's like see you later kind of thing. So much love to everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, yeah. Do yourself a favor and love yourself today, all right? Peace.